Hey, Megan. Hi. <laughs> I mean, we went into the record thinking, let's not worry about how to release it or what to do with it or what's going to be a single or et cetera, et cetera. But just concentrate on making the best music that we can. I like, I like it this way. I feel like I have um, allies, you know? Mm. I feel like I have people who are totally on my side. And, you know, things change after... You know, you record something one way and then you realize in context with other things that you may add later, you might pull out something that you thought was going to be there for sure. Yeah. Um, but in general, it's really nice. We did a lot of pre-production um, just in the rehearsal studio, being very surprisingly organized about it and, yeah. and completely focused. And uh, we uh, got together about... 17, 18 songs, and we recorded all of them, hmm. all the basics live, um, and have been doing overdubs, and we're done, actually. We have a, maybe a couple tiny little fun things to add. We recorded at Hyde, at Hyde, Hyde okay. Street, mm -hmm. Studio A, which is really fun, old, you know, musty smelling room. It's really <laughs> cool. Um, we chose that mainly because... Oh, I had no idea what I was doing. I just my band members and Jerry said that was a good place to go. Mm. Um, they had recorded there before, and we could get a good rate there. So, um, and they had the the equipment that we wanted to use. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the dates. Um, it was amazing how we pulled it together. The dates. Mm. I have no idea. It looked like it wasn't going to happen until like July to start mm. basics because of. James being on tour, our guitar player being on tour, and Jerry being gone, and just, whew. and we booked four, four days straight there, and we spent about 16 hours a day. Yes, we're gonna just add little things, we um, have Mellotron, we have these cool chimes, we have uh, just different keyboards, B3, this power of a B3 while you're recording. You're like, yeah. I can't believe this instrument is so loud. Yeah. We're pretty much done with the music. We just have to do vocals now. So we'll probably do vocals. We're recording on Tuesday. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I'll do all my um, harmony parts at home and from there I'll... Uh, I, I definitely want guest singers. I think that would be really fun. And I definitely want my band to sing on some tracks. Cool. They're like, you sound the best with yourself. You blend the best with yourself, which... I am me, so I do blend very well. But I think sometimes it, different textures, vocal textures mm -hmm. are really great. And we <laughs> recorded uh, one of our songs, the Happy Birthday song, uh -huh. um, in the live room at Hyde Street. All, all of us together with a couple microphones, and we sat in a circle around them. Um, Danny played this big, beautiful grand piano, and Kyle played brushes on a... A guitar case and a uh, tambourine with his foot. Jerry Becker played banjo. James played mandolin. I played guitar. Um, it was awesome. Cool. Jeff played a big upright bass. I, I like. I like how my sound is changing. My first, my first record was very acoustic. My second record was, you know, just me doing it with some friends and a little extra sound. The third record was, you know, it took much more of a did session guys and a producer and it sounds a little smoother. And this one we're scaling back, we're producing it ourselves again.